Mr. Justin! Hey, what's up? Hey, what was How are you? How are you doing? Great. Where did I go in at? Uh, we're set up right here. Okay. <laughs> Go pee tickets. What's up, man? How are you? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. We're at the Pickwick uh, Plaza Five Points. It's a Birmingham restaurant preview. In here. All right. So Mr. Justin said to come over to Kosech Urban Kitchen, and this is a pretty nice setup right here. You have a cast iron with the burners right here, some Brits, and we have a couple of Cuban sandwiches. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, we just spin a little bit in the bottom. Tastes pretty good. Nothing too sporadic or anything. Kept it simple. All right, we are here with Joe Risha from JoJo's on Broadway. All right, tell us a little about where is Broadway JoJo's? Excuse me, JoJo's on Broadway located? Uh, we're located in the Edgewood neighborhood of Homewood. Okay, and what what's y'all's main theme or culture style foods? Uh, we call ourselves a neighborhood gastro pub, so we have uh, all all our local beers on tap. We do uh, hamburgers. Uh, make my own corned beef and pastrami for sandwiches, what? and uh, then uh, four or five nights a week we'll have uh, uh, dinner specials, It'd be anything from steaks, seafood, pastas. Okay. Just kind of all around like new American food. All right. And uh, how long have you been at the location? I've uh, been there five years. Five years. You're doing pretty well? Uh, we, we're still there. All right. <laughs> all right. And you have some, we're at the Birmingham Restaurant Week preview day. You have some gumbo cooking. Yeah, Is that correct? Chicken sausage gumbo. All right. Correct. Chicken sausage yeah, gumbo. Also have some uh, bread pudding with uh, rum sauce. Okay. We'll be sure to check on that in a couple more minutes. Sounds great. Here goes the uh, gumbo with the bread pudding. Looking good. All right. That was everything. We're being 100% honest here. Hold on, hold on. We're, here we go. We're being 100% honest. Uh, what's your name again? Joe. Joe. Joe, I have to say the uh, gumbo. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Now the, sure now the bread pudding is a whole different story. <laughs> the bread pudding is on cloud nine. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. That's cloud like nine. It's great like stuff here. Go and see him. Uh, put all the restaurant links in the description. You can click it. Go visit some time. Have Birmingham Restaurant Week from the 11th to the 20th. To the 20th. That's all right. Go check him out. If you can't check him out then, whenever. Yes, we'll please there. come by. We're, we're there. Yes. Seven days a week. Uh, we're, we're closed on Sunday and Monday. Closed on Sunday and Monday. Yes. So you got five days. That's right. No live, live music every Friday night. All so right. you come by and see us. Yes, sir. These are called the chicken tinga. Yes. Our chicken tinga. Okay. okay. <laughs> I expect that. Nothing less. Okay. We got Mr. Jorge here. Okay. Uh, my name is Jorge from Seca, so I'm doing a chicken to start off. Uh, it comes with uh, black beans, uh, tomato chipotle sauce, caramelized onions, mm -hmm. queso fresco, a little bit of salsa verde, and guajillo sauce. Okay. All right, we'll see how it tastes. We're right, right here. Aren't you see us the best? And this is I Cantina. Yes. You can find them over in the Pepper's Market, correct? Pe uh, Pepper Place, yeah. Yes, sir. Pepper's Place. Yes. And is that considered pico? Pico. Yes, sir. So a little bit of sauce. A little bit of sauce? What kind of sauce is this? Spice chili arbol. Okay. Guajillo. Guajillo sauce. Guajillo. Oh, okay. Let's get you on here. Sir, char the tacos. Very good tacos. Great tacos. All right, we got Eugene's Hot Chicken right here. Yes. One of the best chicken places oh, in the city. Man, I'm so grateful for that, man. Yes, sir. We just out here working like everybody else. All right. Well, what is this right here? This is a hot chicken slider. Hot chicken slider. Don't mind my cutting board right now. All right. <laughs> hey, you got work with what you got? I got work with what I got. Southern. 
mild, and then we got hot. That's what happens when you forget something. Mac and cheese. Im cooking's all about improvising, isn't it? Yes. Yes. All right. At all times. Should I try the southern? That's the southern. Southern. All right, we're going to try this. It's good. Here at the famous Dreamland with Miss... Betsy McAtee, Betsy we are McAtee. sampling okay. banana pudding here at Restaurant Week. Come visit us at our restaurant here in Birmingham. We celebrate Birmingham Restaurant Week. Yes, is it whose whose recipe is Nana? Well, this is the Dreamland famous banana pudding recipe. Okay. Now, how long has this recipe been going on for? We keep using it. Well, we have not always had it. Okay. Last 20 years. 20 years, and who's what in your family is is that your family or? It was a combination of distribution mm -hmm. and we put some modern day spin on it. Okay, well, thank you for your time, and we love the banana pudding. Thank you, hope to see you in Dreamland. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Nas pudding was great. Well, we are going to get it. Great, we are at Rusty's Barbecue. We got the white sauce. Yeah. We got what is this called? We got a spicy. 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 And this, and this is, is uh, sweet. Sweet. And house. And house sauce. All and right. We got rib tips. Rib tips. Oh, okay. So what's your favorite sauce out of all these right here? I mix them. Mix them? Really? Spicy and sweet. Okay, spicy and sweet. How about yours? Uh, I love the white. The white sauce. It's really good. I haven't had too much experience with white sauce, but I, I like the, the times you tried. You'll have a sample of white sauce today. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. We got the white sauce on some rib tips. We're we're going on YouTube. Have a YouTube channel. We'll reach we'll reach either five or five thousand people right here. So, Mr. Rusty, uh, actual name is you. Just go by Rusty. Just Rusty. All right. You are the owner. The owner. A little bit louder. You got you got to be more engineer, Mr. Rusty. <laughs> Hey, I'm Rusty. I own Rusty's Barbecue out in Leeds, Alabama. Okay. Uh, we're very excited to be a part of Birmingham Restaurant Week this week. Tonight at the preview party, we're serving some rib tips with some white bread and our, our variety of sauces here to try with it. All right. And uh, we're just right down the road in Leeds. Yes, sir. Uh, what's your favorite sauce here, Miss Rusty? Oh well, they're like my children, right? You know, you can't, <laughs> just, you can't just pick a favorite. Okay. The house sauce is a, a variation on my grandfather's sauce, so that's what I'm most familiar with, what, okay. what I grew up eating. Uh, the sweet sauce is wonderful, the spicy, and then we have the white barbecue sauce that okay. people really love. So. Yes, sir. And the white barbecue sauce, I think most people may think it was like a ranch. But it's, no, it's, and it's, not it's, right. not, it's not a ranch. Right. All right, so give a little insight of what white barbecue white sauce barbecue is. White barbecue sauce is a North Alabama specialty. Mm -hmm. It's mayonnaise and cider vinegar and some spices mixed together. Mm -hmm. It goes really great with poultry, uh, smoked chicken, smoked turkey, that sort of thing. But it also grow, goes great on a hamburger or whatever you want to mm -hmm. put it on. So. All right, so what's your favorite item at your restaurant? Favorite item at the restaurant is the ribs. Ribs. Um, yeah. Keeping it simple. Keeping it simple, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, Mr. Rusty. Absolutely. We'll put you all your info in the description below. Go check them out at Rusty's Barbecue in Leeds, Alabama. Thank you so much. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? We got Casino Superior. That's right. Located in Brookwood Village. Yeah. All right, who are we talking to right here? Matt Clark, Wilkins, Patrick. Patrick Wilkins. Say it one more time. Patrick Wilkins. Patrick Wilkins and Matt Clark. Clark. All right, so what do y'all have here? We got some queso that we just made. Brought it over here, hot and fresh. Okay. We uh, also make the tortilla chips too. Tortilla chips. Okay. So what's y'all's process of queso? Is it top secret? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's top secret. secret. You gotta keep most of it. So okay, okay. Cheese is in it though. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Fresh guacamole. I love guacamole. All right, so we right here. We got diced tomatoes. Yep. This is how we work the guac. Guac. We're gonna okay. We're crush it in this lava rock right here. Okay. We got tomatoes, onions, a little bit of jalapeno, a little bit of uh, cilantro, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then throw lime some lime juice on it. That's awesome. Yep. And what are you doing the limes? It's our uh, lime holder. Okay. Slice it, squeeze it. Nice, nice, nice. I'll taste some of this queso and yeah, see if it's it. top secret worthy. Ready? Ready? We didn't get some first take, but this guy's actually the chef. 
chef. I, I do what I can. He's he he's headed in the kitchen. So oh. we have a different whole new item for yeah. eleven through twenty for us. Yeah, absolutely. We got two. We got a uh, two? shrimp orzo pasta. Or okay. not shrimp, but salmon orzo pasta. Yes, sir. And then a brisket fajitas. Brisket fajitas. And you, sir, said the brisket fajitas are off the chain. They are. They're they're very, very off the chain. And you like it with lime? I do, yeah. Put the lime on it, it makes it pop. Yes, sir. Thank you. Queso tastes great. Thank you. All right. Where, where are we at right now? East 59. East 59? Yeah. Okay. So what's, is this just regular lemonade? Regular lemonade, strawberry lemonade. We got bacon wrap dates. Okay. Pimento cheese and caprese skewer. Okay. I'm going to go with just lemonade. Which one's your favorite? Strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade? Definitely. Okay. Yep. We'll see how it tastes. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go check out East 59. Everything is in the description. In the visit. Now, hold on. We got the, the bacon the bacon dates. Yeah. What are those about? They're awesome. They're cream cheese stuffed dates. Mm -hmm. So a date is like almost like a starchy fruit. It's okay. like a fig. Okay. Um, and he's the got track wheat salty. Mm -hmm. He brings the people over. Okay. Alright, so we're at Michael's, is that correct? With Miss Erica. Miss Erica. And what do we have here, Miss Erica? This is Michael's award winning white chocolate macadamia nut bread pudding. Okay, that's that sounds very very good. All right. You have to take them. Right. You know, your spoon's right on this side, and napkins right on the side. And where are y'all located? Homewood. Homewood. Okay. 29th Avenue South. There are cars hanging out right there. Okay. And what's y'all's, what's y'all's, uh, is this like a, what's y'all's culture of the restaurant style? Steak and seafood house. Steak and seafood house. Is the seafood fresh? Okay. Of course. Okay. Um, fresh local seafood. Okay. Steaks are cut in house with the exception of our own and we buy. Okay. We're not cutting garden. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We'll, we'll see how this thing tastes right here. Alright, so what is this? This is a banana bread beignet with bourbon caramel sauce. Alright, and who are you? Oscars? 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Oscars at the museum. The museum of Art. Yeah. Museum of Art? Okay. Uh, we have a nice little menu set right here. Yeah. And say this one more time. It's a banana bread beignet with bourbon caramel. Okay. And we are with Mr. Christopher Cobb. Christopher Todd and Mr. Trip Cobb. Trip Cobb. Brothers in the house. Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Twins. Excuse yeah. me. All right. Oscars. We can use them of art. Okay. So coming for lunch Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 2. And then brunch every first Sunday of the month. All right. Excuse the noise right there. Uh, it's it's kind of noisy right now. Uh, myself. Yourself? Yes, sir. Where do you post? On YouTube. Okay. Yes, What's sir. Your say, say hello to all the YouTube fans out hey, there. YouTube. What about YouTube? Come on, Come and see us. <laughs> yeah, we're just. Uh, all right. The so sauce. Look at the What's in the sauce? Bourbon caramel sauce. Bourbon caramel sauce. Got some great stuff out here, man. Great stuff. Oh, okay, man. Great you. stuff, sir. Great stuff. Frozen cheese. Frozen cheese. Frozen citrus green or peach. Okay. We have flavored blackberry tea or mm -hmm. fuzzy peach iced tea. We have sweet and unsweet. Okay. Tea. And then we have our new Fitz cold brew coffee. Okay. How do, how do we do? How do these taste right here? They're fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Which juice is Peach black tea or citrus green, and they're both terrific. Peach. It's like a, it's like Slushly? a slushy, it's like an icy, mm -hmm. but it's made with real tea. Real tea, okay. Thank you, enjoy. Alright, right now I'm drinking this. Mm, it tastes pretty good. I'm not, it tastes pretty good. Uh, it's like a slushy type uh, tea. It's peach flavored, so got the, got the fruit, so it's kind of healthy, I guess. <laughs> so. Alright, we're here with Miss Emily Wood. Yes. Baron. Baron, excuse me. So, uh, Miss Emily, you're with uh, Red Diamond? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Red Diamond Coffee and Tea, and we are based out in Moody, Alabama, and we are 
originally yeah. from Birmingham. We started in 1906, so we had been around for 111 years. Yeah, okay. And you can pretty much see that we have everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I would say deeply involved. Not many people have this this uh, IC type T. Yeah. So how how that come about? Well, I mean, everybody loves, especially in Alabama summer, okay. a cold drink. And everybody loves iced tea. And even in convenience stores, tea is becoming a bigger deal. So okay. it seemed just like a really natural pairing for us to do a slushy with a tea base. And it is real tea that it's made okay. with. Okay, now, where can we get this tea, this slushy tea? It's in restaurants around the city. Mm -hmm. It's in convenience stores around the city. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think. I know most of the convenience okay. stores out in New York. Okay. out there. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a great cocktail base, honestly. I've okay. <laughs> tried that a couple of times, but it's also great as if it's just a normal special. All right. And what, what else do you have new here? Uh, what else do we have here? We have um, just regular hot coffee okay. and our decaf. Mm -hmm. And then we have our regular sweet and unsweet. Okay. And then we have our tropical temptations line, okay. which is a tropical fruit inspired tea line. Okay. Um, we've got our blackberry tea here today, and okay. then our basil, I mean not basil, a basil, our peach tea, mm -hmm. uh, which has been made into a cocktail with mm -hmm. craft okay. down at the other end. Really? So we've got uh, our mango green tea, which Abigail has turned into a Saison beer. Okay. We have our cold brew, which Cooper's has done a cocktail with, mm -hmm. and our um, peach tea, which they've also done a cocktail with. Well, thank you, Miss Emily, for all That's the really details it. and the energetic. I hope you can come back <laughs> and have a couple more glasses. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Okay. So, this is this is a award-winning cookbook right here, and we are speaking to. Marty Duncan. Miss Marnie Duncan and Miss Alan Gasco. Now Miss Marnie, tell us what your cookbook consists of. This book is my follow-up to my first book, mm -hmm. which was an award-winning cookbook called Birmingham's Best Bites. Okay. This one is called Magic City Cravings. Okay. The most requested recipes from Birmingham restaurants then and now. And what happened was, after we did the first book, we had a lot of people requesting recipes that they didn't find in the first book. So we went out and found those. Plus, we included a lot more Birmingham food history mm -hmm. and recipes from places that have been closed for a long time, but people mm -hmm. still talk about. Okay. And those are some of the favorite things. And our sponsor, Alagasco, Okay. made all this possible yep. and the book mm -hmm. will benefit children's of Alabama which is really cool. so it's a two way you get great recipes and you a Birmingham food children. history you help our local restaurants yes. and you help children's of Alabama yes so, all right so win -win. so how'd you get into this cooking cooking or whatnot how did I get into it I didn't have any choice I lived in a house with uh, six people and my mother needed help in the kitchen so okay. my mother taught me okay so that's how I got into it now do you, are you have a restaurant anywhere are you uh, I don't. You don't. I don't have a restaurant. Okay. I eat at all the restaurants. Okay. That's why the restaurants were willing to give me their recipes. Really? Yes, because I work at all the restaurants. You know, I, I go to everywhere mm -hmm. in town and I ask them for their best recipes and they gave them to me for the mm -hmm. book. Like, it also has a connection to Food Network. So Food Network. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did a show on Food Network mm -hmm. um, and have a new show and works right now. Okay. Is that top secret? Or? It is top secret. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Duncan. We'll be looking forward to that new show coming out. Thank you, Lorenzo. It's yes. Marty. Nice. All right, we're here with Mr. Pedro. Mr. Pedro, a great content creator. You'll find him on IG. Cool guy right here. Uh, Instagram handle is uh, NIA underscore. In I oh my gosh, let me redo that. Okay, so it's NIA underscore in South. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm from Birmingham. Yeah. Cool guy right here. Yeah. Keep following him. He needs more subscribers. <laughs> uh, YouTube's the way of the future. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Now, we have Mr. Michael Sims. Michael Sims. Yeah. This is totally different for the whole video itself. Okay, we've been cool. we've been eating uh, we've been eating food and all that. They would come over to Michael Sims. What's zip? You may not know what the zip is, but you know where zip is. You see it around the city. 400 bites? 400 bites. 400 bites. Stations. We're here for after you eat all that really good yes. food. You can go now, like, just ride yeah, it off. Ride it off. Zip it off there. So <laughs>
you know, so you don't feel guilty after yeah. the, that second bread pudding. You can go ahead and do it right there. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, so what, what do you do here at Zip? Uh, so, I'm our sales and marketing manager here okay. at Zip. Um, and we are out here just, we're initiative of Rev Birmingham. So, Restaurant Week, uh, Urban Food Project, all initiatives of Rev as well. So, they're family for us. Um, so, we wanted to come out here, A, support them, also let you know that when Restaurant Week is coming up uh, next week and the week after, that you can actually just use one of our bikes, zip around, and taste test the entire city. Uh, we're the quickest way to kind of get around and, and really check out where all the places are and, and where you can check out, you know, lunch, dinner, um, you know, just for snacks and, yes, sir. and come back out and, and ride it all off. So, you don't have to, again, no guilt. Yes, sir. Mr. Sims, it was nice having you here. Here's the bikes right here. And tell us, tell us a little secret about the ele electric. Yeah, so 100 of our bikes are electric assist. So if you uh, if you want to have a little extra boost, we're the first city in North America that brought that in. Um, it's kind of a totally new technology and concept for bike share programs. If you follow the white lightning bolt on the back fender, it has an electric assist to it. So when you pedal, it'll kick in and you won't actually get any resistance. It'll boost you along. So uh, find one of those and we're actually making more right now. So we'll have more out in our system very shortly. Okay. Is that is that one the bikes? No, it's just okay. One. Okay. It's, it's one All right. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Hey, you for having us. And we'll be sure to do some work with you soon. Some fun stuff. Hopefully, coming up with with sure. We'll take us on some really good food tour routes. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, man. All right, that was a very cool experience. Uh, hope you everyone enjoyed it. Birmingham Restaurant Week takes place from August 11th, 2017, through. I guess the 20th of 2017. Uh, for today's location was a Kirkwick, Kirkwick, I believe, Plaza in Five Points. So awesome, awesome location. Had live music, great people around here. Got a lot of networking done. Um, and just hope everybody checks out at least one restaurant during a restaurant week. The restaurant week is a full onslaught of 70 restaurants and that's from some of the restaurants you saw in there, a little bit more upscale, a little bit more uh, laid back, casual. Uh, they have like a, some, most of them have like a whole menu just for that two weeks, two weeks of time. And uh, differentiate price, differentiate prices so everyone could uh, experience something great. And uh, yeah. And uh, for all you people in there who did not know who I am, uh, my name is Lorenzo March, and keep marching, baby.